Welcome Aquarius to my channel. This is your reading for March Love. Please take what resonates. I am going to be doing your love predictions for March if you are new. Welcome to my channel and if you're returning. I'm so glad that I'm back doing these. So let's take a look. If you guys want to know more info about me, all of it's down below and you're pulled to my energy. Um, take a look down below. Feel free to send me an email. I don't read over emails. And yeah, if you have any questions, just send me an email. All right, let's get started. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also take a look at your North Node, you guys. Um, it's very important as you move forward. You're moving towards your North Node at all times on this path. That's what you're transcending. That's what you're moving towards. So for instance, mine is Libra North Node. Mine's all about love and relationships and balance and justice. All right, let's take a look. What is going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. What is going on in the heart space, the mind space, the actions, and the outcome spirit for Aquarians? Wow, we got two coming out for outcome. Okay. <clears throat> we have the feels like home card in your mind. So Aquarians, you may be feeling that you want to go home. All right, this is a lot of change. This is number 50. This is a five zero, so it's five, which means massive change is happening right now. Um, you're starting to recognize what feels like home to you. You're starting to think about that. What actually feels like family? What feels secure? What feels like home? You know, and I think when we look at love that way, um, you know, you know it's a real person when you can feel as comfortable as you can, as you do with your family, as you do with your kids, as you do with, you know, brothers and sisters and mothers and parents. Um, that you feel that same synchronistic and, and I feel that's what's happening Aquarians. You're like, you know what? My love life. I, I want this. I want to come home. I want to be home with my person. I want to be in that vibration. Spirit is really, um, saying here that they've put you on a hold. I feel like you, the, this is all the divine timing. You've got the TikTok. So this is really about what is healing in your heart. Spirit says you've needed this time. To heal things in your heart, you know. Um, I put the blast upside down, I'm sorry. And <clears throat> this is uh, number three. So, <sighs> Spirit is like saying, this is like bringing, everything happens in threes is the message that I'm getting. You know, um, the Holy Trinity, the, you know, it, things comes in threes. And so Spirit is saying, like, you're noticing different things happening. So I feel like you need to look for things in threes that are happening this month in March. That's the message that I'm getting. Things are going to happen in threes for you so that it's starting to guide you. Start looking for those synchronicities because it means that this divine timing is coming. Um, yeah, it says 10 o'clock. It says five, six, seven past 10 off here. So I don't know if that means anything, but I want to check the time for some reason. So but there's something happening in three. Spirit is bringing up here that this blessed card is what is happening in your love life in March. Okay. This blessed card is about your blessings coming. It's a two, two. Okay. There's going to be serendipitous uh, moments that are coming. We have a nine and by the book, which is an 11. So that means you're closing off a chapter, but it also means a spirit is bringing in, um, you know, you've been doing things by the book spirit is now going to bring it kind of like i keep seeing this whole thing and i have to i read more intuitively you guys so i keep hearing like you're going to see things in three so it's almost like there's this message that i'm getting here aquarians with this look there's even three elephants on here okay so there's something that i'm getting about threes for you you're going to see one two three it could be like one person, two person, the third person's it, or, you know, pattern one, pattern two. Oh my God, now I know why those two patterns came up. But there's something of sequential order that's happening here for you, Aquarians, that you're like, oh, maybe you had so many people and you're just filtering, like, oh, I couldn't date, no, not that person, third time's a charm, right? Or, um, I don't know, something about that, that's what I'm getting. So pay attention in March as it's coming because Spirit's bringing it this way in serendipitous synchronicity. So start paying close attention to the signs. What is going on for Aquarians, please, Spirit? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. That's coming in. And North Node for Aquarius, please. 
one for no yeah engagement ring look at this engagement partnership commitment union completion there's something coming you're coming home you're changing to bring in a union okay you're changing because you want the highest of the highest of the highest that's really what i'm getting we have two that fell here you're heartbroken you've taken the time you may have been with somebody we have mirroring each other our wounds introspection it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be whatever partner or friendship or things that are happening in your life you've been recently like heartbroken here but these things were coming up to show you where there was a massive lack that was happening in your life um to break you open and that's why you've taken this time to heal aquarians you're very blessed okay whatever is coming for you is very blessed it's unconditional love it's right from the divine okay there's something, the action, Spirit's going to tell you when to action. That's why you're getting these messages, you know. Follow the synchronicities. First, you're going to see, it's like a sign. You're going to be like, was that a sign? And you might question it. Then you may get something else and you'll be like, was that, oh, that's feeling. So just, you know, and then the third time you'll be like, yes, that was. So just keep following that momentum here, okay, Aquarians? Yeah, we have here, you're reminiscing about the past. You're learning and making memories from the past. You're really looking at the past of maybe past partnerships, past people, three people maybe, or, you know, work situations or patterns. But there's something in the past that spirit is going to be bringing something very serendipitous that's going to break you free of this past energy. There's a lot of past energy. I want to get one more on that. I feel like it's a breaking out of that. Yeah, as I'm saying that, it's, look at this, it's addictive behavior, maybe partnerships that weren't good, that's been affecting your stability, ending things with no other second chances from the past. So spirit has really pulled either certain things away or um, that there's just no second chance and you're really, are, and you're, you're really at the end of it, really. So spirit is now bringing in those synchronicities for you, okay? Let's take a look at the Kipper deck as well, and then we'll get into the Tarot. So things are leveling up for you, Aquarians. Um, did I say Taurus? Sorry, I just did Taurus. If I said Taurus, I'm sorry. Um, Aquarians. Um, I may have said Taurus here. Sorry. I just finished it. So I just finished the Taurus. That's why. Um, but if you, all, if you have Taurus in your chart, go look at it. Um, yeah, things are just kind of coming. The past is just completely done now. It was affecting your stability. There may have been codependent issues in your love life but that's clearing now things are leveling up in march for you let's see what else is going on for aquarian sun moon and rising venus and north node what is going on with engagement my god why do you put it on the floor i don't like it <laughs> look at this ending the innocence is returning here okay aquarians your inner child you could be children involved um remember this is general right lots of people watching these so like this is this is the thing you've been healing either inner child issues or you know that you need to level up for your kids for your family for you know children could be involved in this situation and you want a home life you want the stability for that okay um so you're definitely putting ends to certain things so that you can come into complete union with self and with somebody that um and it could be um someone that you're thinking of or somebody that's coming into your vibration okay we have there's some concern about your heartbreak here that you've been healing what is that concern a massive despair this may have really killed you there aquarians whatever is happening um, there's been massive shifting here for you. That's had to take a lot of time to heal, a lot of despair. We have five here, which is also change, okay? A lot of despair. Things may not have been aligned, three, three um, for you. So you've taken time to heal your heart, but you're being blessed, okay? We have false person. Yeah. <clears throat> you're being blessed with unconditional love. You've been dealing with a false person. Or somebody false in your world. Uh, Spirit is saying that uh, they're trying to give you this message of concern that you need to get rid of false people in your life. Okay. Or there's a false person um, infiltrating into your energy. Spirit wants you to know that you are of high honor. Okay. You don't let this energy come in for you. Not at all. Okay. You are of high honor. So this person, um, Spirit is saying, don't worry, you are completely blessed here. 
okay? The spirit is giving and receiving affection. There's a falling in love. So whatever concerns you have about false people in your life, don't worry about that. Spirit says you're blessed and they are the ones that are completely bringing in um, this high honor for you, okay? So if somebody's been interfered, we're gonna look at the karma as well that's been happening in your life. So don't worry about that. So um, we're gonna take a look at the karmic situations as well. <clears throat> Let's take a look here at the serendipitous and by the book. Things and from the past is there's no second chances. The addictive behavior, the old it's for your own stability. The past wasn't good for your stability. You're coming into a place of deeper stability. Um out of codependency, out of um oh, it's been a long cycle, Aquarians, okay? That's really what I'm getting. This is the near future, okay? Your stability is coming. So this is this is a clearing out that's coming through in like March so that you can completely like really understand what is happening here. Um, that your your prayers and your blessings are coming. So try not to don't worry so much, okay? Um let's take a look at the tarot because there's definitely lots of change happening. Lots, I can feel it. This is a month for you, Aquarians, uh, of really leveling up, okay, so that um, you can further heal to be able to be ready to receive. There's a lot of abundance that's coming here for you, okay? We have that stability card here that's coming here for you, for the that you want, your home life with your kids or even healing your inner child. Like, that's what's coming for you, Aquarius, okay? So it is happening for you. It's just, um, it's just reiterating you to just get a little bit more um focused here we're gonna let's take a look what's going on for aquarius sun moon and rising please spirit and north no yeah there's a delay in an ending here it is the, it has already ended but you may be a little afraid aquarians of what's happening okay mainly because um yeah, Spirit is saying, like, usually when we end certain patterns, we're so afraid of the ending because we can't see what the next step is. But it's like, it's that's part of the initiation stage. You have to have faith. You have to be able to make a decision based on faith alone and not knowing what's going to happen. You've been learning lessons here and healing with Spirit. This is the Hierophant. This could be a marriage or a commitment, but it's more or less lessons is what I'm getting. Spiritual lessons. We have the Hangman in Reversed. You may have felt that you have lost some kind of opportunity, but you're also, but I'm not really picking up on that so much. I feel like you may have felt like you've lost time because of a false person, okay? Or you may have lost time because a false person is interfering. But Sparrow wants you to know that there is no missed time here, that people are just waking up to certain connections and yourself included. So there's a high honor that's being activated here with unconditional love. So don't worry so much about that. Spirit has got it, okay? This is about attachment. This was this addiction card, right? Codependency, this is coming to an end with that, all right? We have the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Spirit is saying here you've been attached to unrequited love. That's like the past stuff. You know, when there's on equal exchanges, usually people that overgive. I am one of those people pleasers. That's part of codependency. It's a hard one to break. We have so many mind patterns in our world that we think that if we give so much of ourselves, it'll come back. And it's such a deep conditioning of this over giving and pleasing spirit is saying you've been really looking at this attachment and unrequited love that's been happening and that's an end now you does there's no second chances with that so spirit is saying you're persevering through your fear this is really good you, you may not want certain things to end because you're afraid of what the next step is but you know that for your children for your family life or, and if you don't have kids, it's for your inner child and healing things from that inner wounding and knowing that you need to end things to go to the next level. And so you're persevering, even though you may be afraid and there has been delays in ending certain things. Spirit is saying, keep going. Allow the, this is also, you know, we come to fences, we build up a fort. When you build up with the seven of wands, it's like you're ready to cut off heads. You're ready to destroy whatever to get to the top just to build it. It's a very vicious type of defensive energy. 
a fighting energy, a warrior, very like just cutthroat. Spirit is saying you're letting that go here, okay? You're really allowing um, your, the lessons to come in, to heal your heartbreak, to look at your concerns and, and where things have been marrying in certain situations. Could be in a relationship and a commitment, but it's also more or less learning those spiritual lessons of breaking that down now because you're like, I don't need to be so cutthroat. What's meant for me will be harmonious. And I feel there's something very high honor that's coming for you Aquarians because um it's age of Aquarius for one but it's also about something about being more innovative in your life is what I'm getting um that's why there's no offers coming through right now okay there is um you're very blessed but there is a letting go of something false in your life um, and so things aren't being offered right now or you can't give to a certain situation right now um, we're going to clarify and see a little bit more into that because there's more into that that I need to pull. And here we have attachment to this unrequited love. That's the ending. That's where you're done with addictions and codependency. You're ready for something brand new. So let's take a look at this. I want to clarify this first, the missed opportunity, the Knight of Cups. Please, Spirit, what is this for Aquarians? You've been stuck for a while. There's either been a stalemate. There's no communication. There's no passion. There's no action. There's no travel. There's no movement <laughs> um and i think you're i'm gonna clarify that false person clarify the false person card please spirit yeah you're really burdened with a false person this false person we're gonna take a look at the karmic energies in a bit but this false person is causing a lot of uh frustrations okay you got a 10 of wands so you're coming to the end of it you're really at your wits end about this yeah you you feel blocked <laughs> um and that could be an interference or that could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. Take it again. It's a general reading. So, um, whatever is happening, spirit is saying to hold a high honor for yourself. You're going to have a renewal in the situation and hold that place of high love here. Okay. Your fear of endings, you're persevering through that. Yeah. You're allowing the tower to come down. You're allowing the tower. This is beautiful because this is awakening. This is the foundations, falsehoods, things that, you know, aren't for your highest good. Foundations that were once laid are coming down. I know that can be difficult, but it needs to happen for something solid. You want the foundation of your home to be completely in alignment with spirit or it will come down again. That's just how it happens. You're, you're a little regretful of what's happening here. Transition is always hard. Change is always hard. Clarify this higher fit here, please, Spirit. Wow. Wow. Okay. Aquarians, this is divine. Look at this. You're already married in spirit to somebody here, Aquarians. You got a king and queen of pentacles, grounded energy, divine counterparts, soulmates, meant to be. God wants them together. You have a concern here with the healing and the heartbreak. Um, because you're tearing down certain structures, you're letting your guard down, you're already married, somebody, this is this false person, <laughs> this is what I'm getting, they actually kind of look alike, <laughs> this is my deck, I created this card, but yeah, this is um, very fascinating, somebody's blocked, you have to block somebody out, so Aquarians, if this is you or somebody else that was really interfering in this situation, we're going to look at the karma now. That person's being blocked. This marriage has already happened. You're learning lessons of who you're really meant to be with here, okay? Um, yeah, let's look at this unrequited love and this attachment so we can get into the karmic stuff. Yeah, it's created a lot of imbalance. And wow, these are a lot of cards. A lot of imbalance. You're slowly moving through your heartbreak and passionately accessing and defending your truth. I feel like you know the truth, Aquarians. You're just really defending it. Even though I don't really get the Nine of Wands, it's kind of like really passionate in and out energy. But I also feel it's like passionately um, just taking your truth and like leaving with it is kind of what I'm feeling. You may have suppressed it for a while, but I feel like you're moving through that heartbreak through any imbalances, unrequited love, and you're gaining your stability and you're not giving anything a second chance that wasn't for your highest good. That's what's coming through, Aquarians, for uh, March. Let's take a look at your karmic situation. I'm interested because your karmic situation is pulling right into your main reading. So let's take a look at that and see what is going on with this karmic. Now, karmic situations, you guys... Uh, it can be people, it can be um, 
relationships. It can be patterns, mind patterns, addictions. It can be a job. It can be a coworker. It can be any. It could be your children. You have karma with your children that maybe you you know abandoned them in another life, and you got to take care of them in this life. So take the karma not just as third party energy, but there is definitely something with a false person for Aquarius. So let's take a look at your karma. Which time do I got? Okay, we got time. We got time. Also, if you are liking this reading so far, you guys, uh, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps my channel to grow. Also, I'm going to be doing a pick a card at the end of this, so make sure you watch to the end. And also, um, think of your questions. Um, you can pause it now if you want, or at the end. Um, you can think of three questions, yes or no, or you can think of one question and choose a card from the three. All right? Let's take a look. What's going on for karma for Aquarians, please, Spirit? What's going on? For Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. What is going on for Aquarius? Make sure you guys watch all the other readings, too, that are in your chart so you get a better picture of what is going on in March. What is going on for Aquarians, Spirit? This is their karmic situation. What's going on in their karmic situation for March? What's going on for Aquarians and their karmic situation in March? Well, you got the milk and honey, baby. That's really good. Building blocks. Yeah, see, that's that foundation piece that's coming back, eh? Observe. And the twin flame crystal falls out of the yin-yang. You're observing. <laughs> Are you in a twin flame? Something going on? Something going on in your connection? Is it fall everything falling apart here? Is this twin flame causing issues for you? <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's do right into the Kipper deck. Spirit is asking you to observe any patterns that are coming back in your karmic situations, okay? Just observe what's going on right now, Aquarians. Come to the edge so that uh, you can hear Spirit. Know that you're rebuilding, okay? Whatever karmic uh, justice is coming forward for you to build on, on brand new foundation so that you can have your full abundance, Okay, this is a nine. You have a nine here. You have a 10 here. You have a six here, which is manifestation. Six is manifestation. Six, six, six is amazing. It's not the devil. Okay, six, six, six is six carbon, six electrons, six protons, physical carbon, carbon dating, right? So carbon's what makes up our uh, physical world. Okay, so um, yeah, it's about physical manifestation here. Um, 49, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sorry, I never can add numbers. Don't feel good with me. 13, it's a four, so it's a foundation. Yeah, I'm weird like that, you guys. I can't add, but I can do calculus and algebra. I can do complex shit, and I can't give change. <laughs> That's how I think. I have such a high level of thinking. It's insane. Okay, that I just can't do basic math, but I can do calculus and figure that shit out. Okay. How much is the limit as X approaches zero? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm being a nerd now. Let's take a look. What is going on for Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Thank you. And North Node. For karmic energy spirit. So what is this karmic energy for observing? What do you want for Aquarians and the observing? Community. You're looking at people around you of what's happening. Come to the edge. You're watching of, of the energies. You're just watching everything. You're making a decision. There may be a legal aspect that's happening, but um, there is a massive choice that's being made right now in the karmic situation. Okay. Yeah. You've been, you've been working really, really hard for your family. Again, I was seeing that, you know, you, um, there's a lot of change that's happening here. You have the, yeah, no place like home, right? With the healing. So this is really about your family and building that foundation here, Aquarius. We have milk and honey. You're changing for your abundance. You want your abundance. You're done with anything that's not abundant. Um, so this karmic energy is, is starting to change. Spirit has got it, okay? Whoever was around you, um, just observe. Just keep, just keep the energy clear. Okay, Spirit is saying that you are working hard. The effort that you're putting in to build a solid foundation, Spirit sees that. Okay, Spirit understands that. That's why maybe um, whoever you've been dealing with or whatever false person is interfering in your connection will be eliminated, is what I'm hearing. Terminated, like the Terminator. I don't know, you need to ask La Vista, baby. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's so funny. All right, what is going on here? Yeah, you're looking for, yeah, your karmic energies. You're not dealing with narcissistic, okay, snake-like energies, 
Not today. Not today. Very good. Aquarians, you're making a decision to come to the edge about your addictions. You are really looking at your codependent patterns. The karmic energies are looking at karma. This, this, there's a massive decision either being made by the universe, either in court, either the karmic energies are in court, or either um, there's massive en um, energies, decisions that are being made between the karmic energies that about ending... Um, this addiction. There's a lot of building blocks that are happening right now. Look at this. You got the engagement card for union, something coming in. Okay. There's massive change happening for your abundance. Look at this. There's going to be a love call. Someone talking, someone coming, someone transforming. Your karmic situation is massively changing. I feel that that's what was happening with that false person. I feel like spirit is saying whatever there was a, a third interference, whatever that was in your situation is being cleared out. You're going to hear something in March. I'm really feeling that already, Aquarius. Either you're calling somebody or somebody is calling you. All right. Um, talking, evolving, moving into something higher level. You want to be home with your family. You want union with family. You're working at this. You are not letting anything take you from what is rightfully yours. Okay. What is going on for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's take a look. Yeah, where things have failed before, you're persevering. You're not taking crap. You are <clears throat> healing your fear of endings. You may have had a massive fear of endings and change, okay? Um, not liking change so much. You may have had a lot of change in your life, ups and downs, a lot of things happening a lot. And Spirit is saying, you're getting over this fear. Look at this, getting over the fear, moon in reverse with the world so that this stuff can happen. And as you're healing your own karma and your own blocks, this is, you're bringing in a massive amount of um, healing here. Um, this is the queen of swords upright, but this is um, what I'm seeing is like past energy. You're changing stuff from the past in regards to this third party or this person. We're going to clarify that. Let's clarify that. What's that queen of swords here, spirit? Yeah, you're having a renewal outside of, of this person, okay? Or this third-party energy is definitely... Something is being renewed in the karma right now from the past, okay? There has been some swift, quick movement that may have been stagnant and that you've been waiting for, Aquarians. Yeah, there's been betrayal. There has definitely been an ending here of truth and communication that has come through with this individual. So there's massive change. Uh, that's happening any fears of endings that are happening here you've been healing that because nothing's been going right for you Aquarian so this fear okay of what's been happening and where you've been stuck and unstable okay um this is all shifting spirit is making a massive decision you are willing to take a leap of faith into something where you've been completely imbalanced okay you're getting over your fears and ending cycles here aquarians yeah out of emotional imbalance where you haven't been loving yourself you're realizing you have to love yourself this is karmic justice is coming for you in march wow 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 aquarians Wow. All right. Think of your question, Aquarius. Think of your question. We're going to do pick a card. That was amazing. You are getting karmic justice this month. You don't need to worry. You just got to sit back. Observe it. Keep your energy clear, right? Observe the snakes. Not today. Not today. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look. What is going on with Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Think of your question now and uh, North Note. Think of your question now. We're going to pick three cards, all right? And that will be your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. And comment down below. Really helps me to grow. All right, guys. It's also nice karma for me, too. <laughs> uh, but I do love doing these readings. The exchange helps. Helps. It really does. All right. Number one for Aquarians. Yes or no? We've got two there so we're going to do that and I feel like taking that one too so let's take a look all right we have a no well card number one spirit is saying it's not definitely a no they're saying it's a yes as long as you are okay to get over that fear of death because you've had fear of death a fear of endings coming up Aquarians right if you can allow the endings, it will definitely be a yes that you will get everything you want right this is and I'm not reading up 
upside down. I'm not reading these cards in reverse, but I'm taking um, from your reading, you had the death in reverse. It seems like you've had a really hard time with change in your life, a really hard time of letting things go, being coming really too attached to things. Um, but you're healing those addictive pieces of yourself now and realizing that change needs to happen, right? And so Spirit is saying the more that you let, stop delaying the change, the more that it is going to be yes in your favor, okay? So that is a yes, depending on what work you are doing and in, in in allowing the transformation to happen, allowing endings to happen, okay? Number two, I'm going to say that it is a no, okay? We have the devil. There is an attract. Nothing can grow in this energy. It's an attract. It's an obsession. It's codependency. So group number two, you've got to look at where the attachment and the, and the codependency is and the resistance is, okay? So that is a no. Number three, we have the page of wands. I'm going to say that's a yes. Discovering more curiosity, getting on a new spiritual path, um, being very excited about a new path is definitely a yes. Okay, so much love Aquarians. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to work with me, all that info is down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.